So hey guys, I am in Sonoida, Arizona at the Empire Ranch. And by accident, I found this beautiful walk-in cooler, maybe back to the 1950s, 40s, I'm not sure the exact date, but we're gonna show you some awesome refrigeration history. So my assistants could open up the door. And we'll start with the about section. So here's the about section. Now there are holes up underneath this area right here where the air would have came down. This would have been the evaporator pan right here. And then there probably were fans. Maybe this is, um, would have been fans in here. Or it could have been the fans went right inside here. Not entirely sure. Um, there is a lot of history here, and I wanted to show you this up here. Here's the TXV. There's the TXV right there. She is a beauty, for sure. And you see there's an opening. I think there's the piping goes through. Actually, the piping goes straight up to the top. Um, here's your lighting. And then over here... Somewhere over here is a bulb. Sorry about that, we hit the top. There's a bulb, you can see right there, the ca I think the cap tube comes through. If not, we're gonna show you some cool stuff. It's just, it's just lighting, there's no lighting here. Here's your drain line, and we're gonna go outside. Now I believe this to be your low pressure switch for temperature control. And then, here's your drain line. Usually you can see right here, the drain line is going down. And a lot of times they take the drain line, they put this down into a basin uh, for fresh water, ice cold fresh water, uh, maybe for dogs or cats to drink or for watering or actually for human consumption. Now we're gonna go back outside and don't get dive bombed by some swallows. We're gonna head into this room. The reason this room is important is here is the condensing unit. So crazy that the system is still in place. Check out this spun dryer. It's a spun dryer. Here's the condensing unit. Now it's a carrier. I'm not sure the refrigerant. It could be 502, could be something different, but it's belt driven. All the wiring is still in place. But isn't she a beauty? Now they did save the disconnect. And they did save the piping. And this was the complete setup. Now I'd love to have heard this run. That's a fairly new motor, so I'm guessing she might still run. The compressor, belt driven. It's your condenser fan, or actually not condenser, yeah, it's your condenser fan, and she's belt driven. Isn't that a beauty? Isn't that a beauty? So this is and here's a little bit of history. Leaving you, leaving that up so you can maybe get a chance to read a little bit about it. But isn't that fantastic? Not often do I get to see a complete system. Usually one is gone, they leave the cooler and they take the condensing in it, but not in this case. So this is at the Sonoida, actually the Empire Ranch in Sonoida, Arizona.